Okay, I'm back. And I am ready to play. Let's do this. Oh my god, my notebook. Locations. Illegal street race. Set as destination. Let's go. Wait a minute. There's these letters I want you to look at. No, they're nothing. Let's go. Let's get him to drive. You know the way. You can drive. And reminds you to check. What kind of man leaves his pregnant girlfriend at home while he goes off to play cars? Pregnant girlfriends aren't always a barrel of Let's quickly find this guy. He used to let off a little steam. Some guys wouldn't come back home at all. Are you talking from experience? It's not that far. That's far. There's the red Ford. That's still got a right. Am I gonna have to race him? Okay. Do I race? It's not Mrs. Okay. Phelps, twelve forty-seven. Requesting assistance at first and Santa. I think he's in the red. Oh, messing up. Quick as we shut one of these races down, another one springs up somewhere else. Oh, messing this up. Now they just want to wrap them around a lamp post. The next sixteen-year-old I have to peel off the sidewalk. You're calling. I've had enough of those to last me a life. Definitely this guy in the red. Well, let's get him. Oh no! Get in my way! Delgado is our boy. Forget the others. Get in the way! Oh no! No, no, no! Come on. Uh, which way did he go? This way? Yep. Let's get out the water. Oh my, no. Am I meant to hit him with my car? Damn. Come on, come on, come on. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get him. We got him. Uh oh. Gabriel got him. You're under arrest for grand theft auto. Well, I was a little confused there, but I did it. Valdez, I showed him. Now who's a man? I should have burned his fucking car. I gotcha. You got a foreign dignitary out it as a fruit and a kitty raper, a car dealer we're gonna let slide for the kickbacks, and a street punk car thief who sure as hell won't be taking liberties with other people's autos again anytime soon. That detective Phelps is not a bad haul. Nice. You keep your chin low and your hands high, and you keep bringing me clearances just like that one. That's textbook policing, and we need more of it in this department. Smash tip. Okay, 13 of 17 clues, questions correct? Okay, 7 and a half. 
12, vehicle damage 634 injury, city damage. Okay, I probably had some uh, deductions of that, but never mind. Place closed, meticulous, three stars. Nice. You have any plans for weekend Liberty Jack? My sisters have been working in Los Angeles in a bomber factory. Mm. They're coming down to visit. I'm meeting them at the station at six. Good for you, Jack. Are they cute? They're my sisters, Hank. Attention! Was Final he one of the cops before? Oops. Good job, Kelso. Kelso, yeah. Are we going somewhere, gentlemen? Full inspection. Using the first it flashback. Be exceptional if any of you want liberty this weekend. Be sure. Kelso, this carbine. Kelso's always having a hard Are time for his uh me, Kelso? Do what you he's not to do, doing Sergeant. well on the exam. You know the boar is immaculate. Weekend liberty cancelled. Uh, Two day field drill. Clean this rifle. No. Do you know the penalty for insubordination, Kelso? Jack, don't do it. Forget him, Hank. He doesn't have what it takes. Are you two finished? Are you going to clean this rifle? No, Sergeant. You tell him. Cole is right. I'm going to stop playing games and join a rifle company and fight the real enemy. Cole Phillips. Phelps. Cole Phelps. Yeah. A marriage made in heaven. At least got a happy one. Yay. Probably not. Uh-oh. Clear case of murder. All right, gentlemen, I just got this handed to me. A hit and run felony at Ray's Cafe, 208 North Los Angeles. Got a patrolman on site. The coroner's on his way. Get down there, see if you can find any witnesses who can put a make on the car. I got this gadget whiz putting recording devices into the Okay. Where am I going? I'm moving by myself. Okay. Cases you have unlocked, downloaded, can be accessed for play. We have case sections of the menu. Okay. Let's go. Follow my friend. Yeah, it's me. I think we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. What are we taking? Okay, take this one. Undercover. Oh. You can drive. Oh, I'll drive. What the hell? Looks like the DA is going to press charges. Turn right here. Yeah. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Nice. It wasn't that far away. Okay, I changed one of the settings in the game, so it was direct nine. I put it into direct eleven. I think that will improve the quality of the game. It's looking better. I think it's looking better. Okay. Detectives, over here. Cole Phelps. Traffic. What have we got? Because a white male named Lester Patterson walked out of the bar and into the street. Car hit over there and he ended up here. Dead on impact by the look of it. Have you canvassed the area? The only one with anything useful to contribute is the young lady over there. She lives above the bar. Her name is Shannon Perry. No, it's not a stage name. 24 years old. She left Kansas to follow the yellow brick road. Is that so? We'll take a formal statement later. Right now we're going to take Shannon Perry. Let's just look around for clues. What's the hat here? 
Can I just uh, pick that up? No. Okay, let's look at the body. Phelps, you should take a look at the body. Uh -huh. stand a I've gone hard to. Oh, no. I think it's click. You have to click on things. Click here. Hmm. Just a half. Landed on his face and ended up here. The car must have struck him from behind. Look at this body. He looks pretty messed up. Hmm. No watch. Wait, 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 wait. wait. There's something on his hand. Something on his hand. Why not move it a little bit? Some letters or something? I feel like there's some letters on his hand. Forget that. Nice. Pretty messed up. Go down. Check here. What is this? California Fire and Life. Lester? Was his name Lester Patterson? 182 North Hope Street. January the 5th, 1947. Dear Mr. Patterson, it is with great pleasure that we acknowledge the receipt of your application 14F and a pre approval has been granted to raise the weekly premium on your life insurance policy from. 370 per week to 590 per week. Yes, buddy. Okay. Raise the effective arm um, the first of nine. The first January the first, 1947. We're asked standard life insurance. Veteran care pass entitled you to a lump sum without without payout of ten thousand in the event of your ultimate death, untimely death or ultimate death or punishment. Permanent incapitation. This plan skews your beneficiary sum of sixteen thousand. What the f? We at the California Fire. Thank you. I wish you good health. Seems like he didn't know about this. So he's got this letter, and he's like, "Who's increased my life insurance?" Without me knowing. So it was increased on the 1st of January. Let's remember that when I have to knock I have to um, interrogate somebody. The address? We can notify next of kin. Get some bucks here. Can we look at it? Nice. Nope. Lester person LP embroidered into his wallet that's his wallet that was the letter and let's just check the other hand anything here no I think I'm done what have you got on the victim from all reports he was intoxicated at the time of the accident I know how intoxicated once I've done the autopsy. Looking him over now, I'd say he died on impact. What about the chest wound? Isn't that inconsistent? Chest wound? Very common in auto injuries. Look for a car with a prominent hood ornament. Those things are killers. Oh, well, that's another clue. Look at those. A few more clues here. So it was hit from here and then got scraped along the road. You step in, Phelps. I don't come down to the station house and tap dance on Body travels a good 20 feet. So it was hit and his body flew all the way down there, so it's at some speed. Some blood here as well. Oh, wait. It was hit from. Where was he hit from? Was it hit from here or hit from there? Okay. This blood is a long way from the body. Car must have been going like a bat out of hell. Hmm. Right. 
tire, tire marks. So the driver managed to brake before the impact. They were braking before the impact? That's weird. Okay. Well, I can zoom around. I'm doing here. That is it. I'm pretty sure. Let's talk to the lady. Or should I? Oh yeah, let's talk to the lady then. Miss Perry? Yes? I'm Detective Phelps. This is my partner, Detective Bukowski. Eyewitness report. Suspect vehicle description. Suspect vehicle description. Let's do the first thing. Can you tell us what happened? Well, I came to the window because I heard people arguing downstairs. Argument overheard. Truth, doubt, lie. Truth. Then what happened? I saw a car hit that poor man and knock him down the street. Truth. Uh, spec'd vehicle description. Sub. Well, so you're not messing around. Just looks like telling the truth. What kind of car was it? A dark red Lincoln Continental. Dark red. Yeah, I think I remember it being red. Dark red Lincoln. Yeah, why not? Truth. Did you see the license plate? Only the first three letters, I'm afraid. She lying? C eight. I think she was lying. Was she lying? Mm. Okay, she's telling the truth. Argument overheard. Tell me more about the argument. Well, there were two voices. A man and a woman. That's all. Hmm. Man and a woman. Something she's hiding. I'm gonna go down. Why are you holding out on us, Miss Perry? I'm sorry. I was hoping to tell my story to the newspapers. I'd like to get my picture in the paper. I'm trying to find work as an actress and things well, let's see. Be difficult. Cough it up, sister. We don't have all night. People arguing? They were husband and wife. I could tell by what she was yelling. Intimate things. Very embarrassing for the man. Thank you, Miss Perry. Your information has been very helpful. You can go now. You really think so? I hope you find that driver and put him away. Great. I think I've changed my outfit now. Spells? Give it a rest, Bukowski. Let's see what the patrons have to say. I'll take the bartender. You work the rest of the room. Bartender. Can I change my outfit? I'll do it next time. Oh, I'm just sitting down. I'll stand up. Okay. Talk. I'm Detective Phelps of the LAPD. How can I help, Detective? Name would be a good start. Dudley Lynch. Hired help. I run the place when the owner ain't around. Dudley? Where is the owner? He stepped out. Somebody had to take Lorna of Mrs. Patterson home. Mrs. Patterson? He stepped out? Does he mean he got hit by a car? Observe, uh, observe, back. And he's got. He'll be lying. Hit and run instant. No offense, fellas, but having cops hanging around ain't exactly good for business. Okay. No offense, fellas, but having cops hanging around ain't exactly good for business. And I know, hit the first question. What can you tell me about the accident? Not a lot. It was busy in here, and all I heard was the impact. He's lying. So what was he doing outside? It's against licensing regulations to drink on the sidewalk. Esther and Lorna were having a fight. The owner made him take it outside. It was pretty ugly. Okay. Do you know the victim? Yeah. Lester Patterson. He's a regular here, or 
He was. Greg, I don't... I don't have any way to say he's lying. Regular, yeah. If he was. Yeah, it's truth. Not one of your favorite customers? Lester was special, but not my kind of special. Was Lester drinking alone? No. He came here with his wife. She didn't seem too interested in the booze, though. A witness overheard an argument. Lester and Lorna. There's nothing like airing your dirty laundry in public, is there? He's... Something about doubt. Let's go doubt. Why was Lorna Patterson in such a hurry to leave? What is going on here? Lorna was pretty upset, so Leroy took her home. Lorna and Leroy are close. They've been talking about opening a new bar. Leroy? Leroy Sabo? The owner? Oh. We have the motive with the insurance. And we have suspects. What's going on here? Joint business venture. How long have Lorna and Leroy been talking about this new bar? Who knows? I just served the drinks. He's lying. I'm not going to lie. I'm just going to sit down. I got no proof to say line. Bartenders hear all sorts of things. Are you going to tell me, or do we have to start playing rough? When Lester was drinking, he treated Lorna like dirt. He gambled away all their money. Lorna pitched Leroy about the bar. I don't know how interested he is. Is Leroy doing well? <laughs> Hell no. The only thing keeping this place afloat are the poker games. Okay. Thanks for your help, Lynch. I'm going to need you to sign a statement with the patrolman. All questions correct? Sure. Lovely. No Experience. out of the regulars? They weren't giving too much away. They liked watching Lester and Lorna go a few rounds every other day. And Lester was a fan of the love tap. Love tap? He liked... Oh. Okay. Think the stars promises mental breakdown. Find the headline. Okay, let's see this. Nope, let's see it again. Do that one more time. Yay! Courtney! Courtney? Come in. Have a seat. Thanks, Chuck. So that's How left. are you finding working at the clinic? It's, uh, fine. Are you sure? Can I be honest with you, Doc? I would hope so, Courtney. I was hoping that the therapy would be more beneficial. Treatment can unfortunately be very long term. So many of the patients here are addicts, doctor. Many of them have been for years, Courtney. Something sinister going on. These people were condemned for sanatoriums. We can reveal the root of the problem. Then we have a chance to help them. And until then, they stay sedated. Do I detect a hint of reproach, Courtney? I was expecting more, Doctor. I'm sorry. I don't mean to criticize. Doctor, any good? It's part of being a physician, Courtney. Learning to be patient. Seems like full of shit. How is it possible to keep so many of them on their medications, Doctor? Many of their addictions are illegal. Oh, many things in life are gray, Courtney. What may on the surface appear to be illegal is actually a benefit to society at large. Okay, I got sense to doctor. Alright, let's just look around here. There's something about poker game here at the back. So, um, well, let's go down here. Is this a poker game? No. It's a poker game. So this is why everybody comes to raise. Any clues? No. Right, let's get out of here. Mm, am I meant to use the telephone? Let's drink to use the telephone. 
Operator, give me R&I. Putting you through now. Phelps, badge 1247. How could I help, Detective? I need to run a partial license plate, 3 Charles 8. Cross-check possible Lincoln owners. Suspect vehicle is a red Lincoln Continental. Just a moment, Detective. I wonder who Only answered. one possible make on that license. Who? Registered to a William Shelton. William Shelton. 738 West Temple Street. Is that not the guy? Thank you. Oh. I don't think that's the guy who owns this Looks like place. we've got a break on this one. Go do. Let's go talk to William Shelton. Anything here? Nah, no, let's go. Let's just check around here. One more check for clues. No. Pretty sure I've gotten everything. The street. I. One intuition left. Uh, I think I'll keep that for interrogation. Ah, uh, let's have a look here. Anything up here? Ooh, I found something. Just a guess. Manipulate the object, search points of interest, and hold the camera. Zoom lightly. I zoom in. Okay. A knife. Something there. Is there something? Oh. Just there. Just, come on. A knife covered in blood. Could be a steak knife. This is a hit and run case, Phelps. Anyone could have thrown away a kitchen. Mm, kitchen In any knife. case, we'll want tech services to scrub the alleyway before they bag the knife. This is getting interesting. Man, was he hit by a car and stabbed, or was he stabbed and hit? It is interesting. Is there anything else here? But uh, I think we got everything we need. Let's just go. Where's my car? My car must be. That's not my car. Locations. Let's find out the Sheldon guy. You drive. Nice. I need to go over the case notes. You don't wanna? What? Well then. I was in his way. You can drive. Oh yeah, I think I was in his way. Four fifty. It's like really early in the morning. They came there really early in the morning and they just waited. Interesting. Who is he after? Cars all mashed up, covered in blood. That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. No, You're no. Packing your bags and making a run for it. You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelby. He tried to stop. Oh no, no, no race. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Oh no. Oh shit. No. That guy is gone. He's gone. <laughs> God damn it. So much for our hit and run case. Where's he gone? Oh, damn. Uh, ugh, I'll have to do it again. 
I got. I was trying to take a shortcut through the trees. I thought that would uh, cut some time off, but it didn't work. Let's get this bozo. Come on! I think I kind of figured out what happened. He was stabbed, thrown in front of the car. Well, at least I think it was. That son of a bitch right there. William Shelton? Yes. It doesn't look good, Shelton. You packing your bags and making a run for it? You know why we're here. Yes. The accident. Yes. We've got witnesses who can put this car at the scene, not to mention the physical damage. This is open and shut, Shelton. Okay. Back in. Uh, do nice and easy. That coward thinks he can run from everything. Enough games, Phelps. Take this guy out. Nice and easy. We need to get in front of him. No! Let's slow things down. No wonder he killed someone driving like this. Lay into his wheel archer. Come on! Nice, got him. Asshole, get away. No, 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 no. Definitely getting away now. Where is he? I got him. Oh no, 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 no. It's, it's tight. It's hard to get through a small space. I'm thinking he must have gone this way. I think I've lost him. God damn it! So much for our hit and run case. Where did he go? Oh no. Okay, I really messed that up. Let's try that again. Even if this guy's not guilty, I hope to beat the shit out of him. William Shelton? That coward thinks he can run from everything. Let's get him this time. Oh no! I was running right in front of my car. There he is. I wonder if he killed someone driving like this. No, no. Let that asshole get away. I nearly had him. Nearly had him there. Let's just go around this time. Oh no, oh, okay. He's off. Is he stopping? Okay, let's get out the car, get, get, get out the car. Oh no, I'm going the wrong way. Did he go this way? There he is. Got him. Got him! I admit it, I just panicked, but it wasn't my fault. What do you mean? 
The guy jumped right out in front of me. He came out of nowhere. There's nothing I could do about it. Why didn't you stop? I believe him. I've had accidents before. That's it. We're done here. That's because you're not wearing glasses. I love you. They weren't all my fault. I'm a surveyor. I need my license for my job. There were people around. A woman and a man were standing right next to him. I thought they could get him to a hospital. I'm telling you, it's not my fault. The guy is dead, Shelton. You mm. can't be serious. William Shelton, you're coming downtown. We need to talk about a manslaughter charge. 